Hey everyone, Ren here. So, this past weekend, I attended a Day Out with Thomas event at Greenfield Village in Dearborn, Michigan. Now, I've been going to the Strasburg Railroad's Day Out with Thomas events every year for a while now. Uh, it's a great time. Uh, I get to see the beautiful Strasburg Thomas and meet up with the bros for a day. Hello. I've actually got family that lives near Greenfield Village and have been going there all my life. Uh, I was finally able to work things out this year so that I could be up there for Day Out with Thomas. And so I figured, why not make a video to showcase it? It was basically just a normal day at the village, but with Thomas thrown on top. And not just any Thomas. No, uh, Greenfield Village is one of the few places Strasburg trusts with their actual steam-powered Thomas. So I got to see my beloved Strasburg Railroad Thomas, which is always a treat. I shot a good bit of footage there. Uh, Greenfield Village is actually a pretty big area, so I did a lot of running around and getting in place for a shot and kind of wore myself out by the end of the day, but in the end I'm pretty satisfied with what I got. So I think what I'm going to do is just let the footage play out in its entirety and just kind of let it speak for itself. I'll, I'll throw up a Headmaster Hastings cover or something. Before I do that though, I'd like to just real quick touch on the controversial new paint splatters. Well, I, I guess there's not really a controversy surrounding them. I, I don't think I've seen a single person defending them, uh, but yeah, they exist, and yeah, they're pretty damn ugly. It's like acne. Not really a huge deal, but cosmetically unpleasant to look at and a bit distracting. Who asked for this? Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, I, I know it's part of the gimmick for this year's Let's Get Colorful Tour or whatever, uh, but it's a pretty textbook case of if it ain't broke, and this beautiful beast definitely was not broken, uh, don't fix it. But even with the dumb paint splatters, Strasburg Thomas is still a beautiful locomotive and it didn't really sour the experience overall for me. Anyway, I've rambled long enough, uh, go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the footage of my 2023 Day Out with Thomas.
raining, pouring. It's great. Life is full of surprises, full of ups and downs, and so to have a silver. are done They get down in the dumps if things they do don't work out just as planned But if at first you don't succeed then understand There's no sense in worrying if things start going wrong Obstacles can all be overcome But even Bill and Ben both agree that in the end if you never lose hope you're sure to cope and
So yeah, that was my day out with Thomas. Overall, I had a great time. I picked up the 2023 Wooden Railway Day Out with Thomas item, which is pretty nice, and is unfortunately shaping up to be the final TWR item, like, ever. Which sucks. Uh, Mattel's killing off their last genuinely good toy line. I also picked up Rebecca while I was there, because I don't have her yet, and, you know, she's cool too. Uh, pretty satisfied with my purchases, and am still holding out the tiniest shred of hope that Mattel keeps this range around for a little while longer, though it's really not looking good. Also, if I had to nitpick one thing at the event, it's the inconsistency Mattel shows concerning the different eras of the show. There were signs and promotional things, you know, just hung up everywhere, which was nice, uh, however there seemed to be no rhyme or reason as to what material went up. Uh, all engines go and CGI signs were placed about interchangeably. Um, and as for Thomas himself, well, uh, he's got a CGI face, an all engines go voice, and they play classic series songs on the train, as well as an old interactive recording, which I'm pretty sure hasn't been changed since the days of the hip model era. Seriously, do kids today even know the song Rules and Regulations exists? I, I don't see who Mattel was trying to appeal to here. It's like they don't want to commit to any certain era, and the results are, well, a bit jarring to say the least. Definitely confusing for kids. Uh, but looking past all that, I still had a blast, and if any of you have a Day Out with Thomas event coming to a place near you, I'd highly recommend going out to it. Uh, if you're a Thomas fan, you'll probably have a good time. I know I sure did. I've already made plans to go to Strasbourg next month, so maybe I'll see some of you there. Who knows? Anyway, uh, this video has gone on long enough, so if you've stuck around, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day, everyone. Peace. Oh,